Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have two new fragrances to review for you and they are two new releases that have just come out from the Kayali perfume range which is kind of part of Huda Beauty. So we have one called Invite Only Amber number 23 and we have Kayali Eden Juicy Apple 01. So I'm going to be letting you know what these two new ones smell like. If you are new here then hello and welcome. I have hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos. I have done a video on the Kayali fragrances in the past which I'll leave down below um, in the description box covering the original ones that came out. And if you are a regular viewer of the channel do check to see if you're subscribed and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos and I will leave links in the description box to where you can buy these two perfumes in UK Europe North America Australia where they're available cool so I was really excited when I saw that this new Eden juicy apple perfume was released I love apple in fragrances and as I was reading about it it was saying it's gonna have berry notes in and stuff. And I was very excited because if you're a regular here, you'll know that I love those type of notes. And I have to say guys, that it definitely hasn't disappointed. It genuinely does smell like a red apple, but it's also very fruits of the forest berry scent. You've got a sort of black currant, wild berries, even a bit of blueberry, I think. And there's definitely a sugariness to it. It kind of reminds me of the Nina Rishi um, red apple, Nina by Nina Rishi fragrance, probably because of the red color and the red apple vibe. That one's probably a bit more vanilla-y because um, that has a vanilla base under the apple, whereas this one's just like a sugar, white sugar base. So it's not quite as vanilla-y as the Nina Rishi one, but it's definitely super, super fruity, very thirst quenching. You've got a little bit of jasmine and rose in the heart, which is making it feminine. So it's not like just like all fruit. It does remind me of like a fruity Victoria's Secret body spray, something like that. This is an eau de parfum. So I'm finding that it is performing like an eau de parfum. It's not super strong in the way that a lot of the Kayoli fragrances are. It just feels like it's performing like a normal designer eau de parfum. Like it's not super strong, but it is lasting. I can still smell it. I think you'd need a good few sprays and then it would really last well. I would definitely use this for layering on top of other fragrances. Perhaps you had a jasmine fragrance or um, whatever you wanted to add like a fruity vibe to it. I think this could definitely be used for layering because it is focusing all on those fruits. So it's just like adding that note to another fragrance. I don't think it would clash, but this one is definitely Soki approved. I really like it. I like the bottle, the branding, and I like the smell. And fans of apple and berries, definitely worth checking this one out. If you are looking for a really strong berry perfume, I do recommend um, one of my favorites, Trezor, Lancome Trezor, Midnight Rose, I'll leave it in the description box down below the review on that. Um, it's not that strong, but yeah, definitely love this new one. So the other new release, Invite Only Amber, um, this one I sprayed on my other wrist and I am finding that it's really dominating over the Eden Juicy Apple. This one is not the type of fragrance that I personally tend to go for. It is amazingly strong and it's really, really projecting. It is a classic oriental amber scent. You've got everything from tobacco in here, quite a lot of cinnamon. You've got a vanilla-y oud, it's super ambery. Benzoin patchouli, it's literally like they've included every single ambery type in oriental ingredient in here and as a result it really does have a huge payload like it feels very very strong lasting very very well if you are a fan of those type of tobacco fragrances oudy fragrances definitely check this one out along with a lot of the other kayali ones i find that their oriental fragrances are very strong very good for lasting but then the lighter more florally ones or this new fruity one are more like normal level for lasting i wish they made them just as strong as they do the oriental ones so i definitely think this is a good perfume it's got amazing projection it's just not the type of fragrance that i personally like 
So guys, let me know if you have a favorite from the Kaoli range. Let me know which is your favorite. I'll leave my reviews to the other ones that I've done from the Kaoli perfume range down below so you can check them out. And like I said, where you can buy these as well will be in the description box. Um, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.